All right, so we've got squats here. We have the option to do some goblet squats, so everybody's kind of coming from a different starting position. If you are going to do the goblet squats, you'll have a kettlebell down here. You'll pick it up, get in position with your pinkies right into the ball of the kettlebell. Keep the elbows in tight. Sit your butt back, getting as low as you feel comfortable getting. Keeping the back flat as you're going up and down up there. If you're going to barbell squat, we're going to, you can, it can be variable on how wide or narrow your hands are. So you'll figure out usually after the first few times what feels okay on your chest and your shoulders. So you're gonna duck under the bar. We wanna make sure we're getting it not too low where you feel like it's gonna slip off, but definitely not too high. We don't wanna feel like the bar is pushing right into your neck. So find a position that feels, it's not necessarily going to be comfortable, but not really uncomfortable. You should feel like your traps lift up a little bit. They give you a platform for the bar. So you should be able to hang there for a second and feel like it's okay and it's not digging into your neck. Then back up just a little bit away from the rack, but still stay pretty close because we'll have safety bars in there too. You're gonna sit your butt back, getting as deep as you feel comfortable with these. Stand back up tall. The knees are going to be pushing outward a little bit. We want to avoid the knees caving in. So we don't want our squats to have our knees coming in like this. We wanna feel strong. We wanna feel like we're pushing outward into our feet and a good tight core as you go down. Exhale as you come back up. 